Uh, my first encounter with Zizek's work occurred back in grad school, where I suppose all these things begin. I was trying to use Kierkegaard as a theoretical model for uh, an argument about modernism that I was trying to make in my dissertation. And one of my advisors was just absolutely adamant that such a thing could not be done. And uh, she said that to have a dissertation with Kierkegaard, Gertrude Stein, and Conrad would just be weird. And as you can tell, I'm scarred for life. So I spent many days poring you know, over books and articles and all kinds of things to see if I could find that perfect quote that would allow me to link all these things together. And one night, a friend of mine from grad school, Jim, emailed me. He had found a page from the ticklish subject and had typed it out in its entirety in the email. To my delight, there enough, on page 211, Zizek makes the connection between Kierkegaard and Menardini that I was seeking. So I wrote back to Jim, this is great, I, I, this is great, but, but what does it mean? What does Zizek mean? <laughs> to which Jim replied, and you'll excuse me, who the hell knows? <laughs> but, but if Zizek is writing about Kierkegaard, then you know it's important and you can do it too. And this is a, fr a same friend, I should say, who was given a t-shirt by his then girlfriend, now wife, and the t-shirt had the initials WWZS. What would Zizek say? Uh, and Jim told me later he almost proposed to her like right on the spot right there. 